Hi Lindsay, it's Friday, December 31st, and I just have one thing to say to you. Don't become Snooky. There are a lot of reasons why you shouldn't want to become Snooky, um, the first of which being you'll have to lose about 50 IQ points. The second is you'll also have to shrink about a foot because I'm pretty sure she's about four foot seven. And the third being you'll have to become some kind of very strange ethnicity, which I think is Italian, but I'm pretty sure she is creating a whole new one called Drunken Falling Down Whore. These are not good attributes. You know, stupidity, like shortness is, uh, that's fine. I mean, you know, genetics and all that, whatever. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be prejudiced against short people just because of Snooky. But stupidity and, and whorishness, not good traits for you to have. Other than that one, I enjoyed your New Year's resolutions. Um, I think the, the 4.0 is a little ambitious, but I think it's a good thing to be shooting for. I currently have a 3.2. Um, and Beth, who is extremely smart, what are you doing, Kat? Um, has a, I think a 3.9 or a 3.8, I think it's 3.9. Um, and she's pretty much only gotten, like, a single A-, minus, so a 4.0 is gonna be really hard, but it's definitely something good, good to shoot for. Let me know if you manage to beat Mario, that'll be interesting, because I've never actually, I don't know if I've ever actually seen the end of Mario. Um, and I think it's really strange that the last big bad guy who you have to rescue Peach from is Yoshi, instead of Bowser, who you've been fighting for the entire game. Do you have to defeat Yoshi, or does he just hand you the princess? I'm really confused by this. Do you have to race race him like you had to do, like, Koopa? I don't understand. You'll have to explain this to me. Finally, on to my resolutions. Um, these are only going to be a couple. I don't have very many this year, um, but they're pretty big goals. The first one is uh, to graduate from college. Technically, I won't graduate till January of 2012, but to actually, like, finish college, because I should finish about mid-December of this year. Well, this being come midnight. A cat is biting me on the leg and it kind of hurts. Get off, cat! Graduating college is the big next step for me. The second resolution is to finish my screenplay. I have to have a draft done by May, um, both because of my screenwriting class and because of the schedule that we've set up for um, pre-production on the film that we're working on. Um, but I don't want to just finish a draft, I want to finish the entire final script. And I'd like to finish it by August, not the end of the year. Um, because I want to have a final draft before we start pre-production. The third, final, and biggest of my New Year's resolutions this year is the same one as like half of the country and possibly half of the world, which is to get fit and lose weight. I'm not a huge crazy body image person, but you know, I, I am considered overweight. Closing in on the not fun obese range, um, according to BMI. Um, and that's not something that I want ever. Plus, um, losing weight and getting healthy, it will, you know, increase your energy and it might help my knee because of wear on the joints and everything. So, you know, there's there's a lot of really good reasons to do it. I recently got myself a Wii and mom gave me the the extra Wii Fit board that she had in game. So I'll be using that a little bit. I'm going to try to get back into Couch to 5K. Winter is going to be a hard time to do it just because it's so cold out and I can't go outside and exercise. So I'm going to have to start using the little training area at school. Anyway, I gotta wrap this up before I go over four minutes. We've got four months down and eight months left to go, so I will see you next year. I can't believe I just said that.